Welcome to Using Network Drives, a brief tutorial on how to use our school's network drive. One of the biggest complaints of the teachers in our district is not being able to access their data in different areas, whether it's in the library or their classroom, or in another teacher's classroom if they go there and have to cover a class. Many of our staff don't know about the ability to save to the network drive that we have housed in our district servers. A network drive is defined as a computer attached to a network that has the primary purpose of providing a location for the shared storage of information or data. In our school, there is a teacher side and a student side to the H drive, which is what we call our network drive. Teachers, why would you want to use this? There are several reasons that you can utilize the network drive. One, to back up your files from your computer. Two, easy access to your files at different locations or different computers and three, the ability to start, store larger amounts of data. Well, how do you access the drive? That's plain and simple. Open up the My Computer icon, or if you have Windows XP like I have here, click on the Start menu and go to the My Computer icon here. You will then see when the window pops up several things. You have your hard disk drive at the top, which is usually listed as your C drive. You have possibly a removable media drive or removable storage area, whether it's your DVD or CD uh, writer, um, you see my thumb drive attached here is the removable disk, but then down below you'll see a thing that's called network drives. Your network drive will be identified by your login name, so you see mine is T. Belloff on PWJHS, PWW Teacher, H colon, if you don't see your H drive, you would need to log off your computer and log back on. That is key. If you cannot access something, whether it's anything you need to that you normally would be able to, you would need to log off and log back on. It's a pr an idea that's called authentication. You're not authenticated on our servers, which means your login credentials, you as a teacher, aren't authenticated, so they don't give you access to the H drive, the network driver, or, or sensitive stuff that you know, that might be, you know, would, would be bad in the hands of, of a student. You can use this to store your files on your computer as you need to. There's a lot of room there, so if you have larger files, it'll be okay. All right, if we take a look, you can see, if I check on the property, you can see it over on the side as well here, but if I open up the properties, you can see that the total free space, giving it a second to work, you can look over here, you can see free space 121 gigabytes, that's a lot of memory, a lot of room, out of a total of 195 gigabytes, that's a lot of room to store things. Your average iPod or iPhone is 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes, you, 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 don't, you don't hardly use that, right? and as you can see here, all the purple is the free space. Only 74 gigabytes is being currently used by teachers or um, faculty uh, that are accessing this. If we go into it and open it up, you can now access this from anywhere that you in the building that you log in on your name. So if I were to go to the library and log in under my name on one of the library computers, I would be able to open this up and access my H drive. And you can see I have files already saved here um, for my classes this year, classroom management, um, any other, other things that I've been working on, as well as media files that I've um, recorded or used, you will utilize in my classroom if I want to be able to utilize showing a movie or something like that that I've downloaded from um, the Discovery Channel or any of the other uh, free sites that we have access to through United Streaming. You have that ability to, to store those there so they don't take up the room on your hard drive. Or if you need to, you know, use a laptop, if it's on your if it's on your desktop computer and you want to use a laptop and hook that up with a projector, you can utilize that and, and, and open that up that way. So now the student login is will give you access to the student H drive as well. And you can use this to, to have your students save those, your, your files or their files to, to the H drive. So if they're working on something, let's say a research paper for a, a teacher, they can save to that, to the H drive, and then instead of saving it to the computer, whereas they would wind up losing 
you know, if they wind up losing that computer or it's not there for when they go back to continue working or someone else is using it, they could just access the H drive from another computer and their file will be available for them to use there. So there's there's plenty of opportunity there. You can simply, when you go into the student area, open up and click on a new folder in the in under student login and just type, you know, bell off block one um, and allow students to save into that block for their files or anything else like that that they would need to so then they know where their, their where their work would be saved again this is just a brief tutorial on how to use the network drive if you have any other questions obviously you can feel free to see myself throughout the course of the year or refer back to this video at any time to help you give you an understanding of how you can utilize this to better serve you in your teaching and in your classroom.